is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below wow one person's isolated because they have fear of rejection the other person's moving on Pisces, i feel you're moving on i feel you're moving on and this person out here uh, has isolated themselves. They're doing a lot of thinking, a lot of uh, self-introspection about what they want to do next. The next steps in this relationship. I don't feel this person has given up. There are chances that this per you've had a breakup, a separation, and you are trying to separate. You are trying to walk away from this connection temporarily probably you just feel this is the only thing that you can do right now this is like a temporary solution that i'm getting here and i think you're trying to distance yourself right now okay because you just don't want to be in these rocky waters anymore you want to get into a better place out here all right so that's what you're doing i think this person out here is too isolated okay they don't know what to do but they're doing a lot of thinking a lot of introspection like i said a lot of wondering about what are the next steps what when where how why but this person is definitely thinking of wanting an opportunity with you of wanting to come towards you and express their emotions okay they want to make you an offer here but i think this person's too scared i think they're too scared what's the current situation <laughs> just had to come out right yeah see right now there is an offer here there is an opportunity here but i feel that this person out here they have so many opportunities to come towards you right but it's their isolation it's their disconnection okay they're very disconnected from you right now I think they're trying to get that inner guidance about what to do next. That's a lot of soul searching that they're doing. So the opportunity is there, okay, right now. But it's up to them to grab it and come towards you, okay, and stop you from moving away or moving on. How do you see yourself in this connection? Okay. How does this person see themselves in this connection? Hmm. I think you're dropping this person. Okay, I think you see this person as someone, you know, who is very on and off, very uh, wishy-washy, very, um, someone unstable in this connection. Okay, so you see them as someone who's probably, you know, juggling too many things and is lacking balance out here. And uh, probably they choose something else or they give something else a priority out here. All right. And this person, they view you as probably someone who is just repressing your emotions. Okay. So like I said, you, uh, this person views you as someone, you know, who's repressing their emotions, you're not opening up, you know, you're choosing to stay isolated, choosing to keep quiet, okay, about how you really feel. Maybe they see you as someone who's actually a very intuitive person, but you're choosing to trust your logic over your intuition. Why is all this happening? Why is all this happening? Why is all this happening? Wow, wow, wow. Ace of Cups. Um, I think someone's choosing to love themselves is what I'm getting here. That's you. You're choosing yourself. You're choosing to uh, self-care, self-love over this person is what I'm getting here. I don't think this is someone, uh, I don't think this is new love. I don't think this is a renewal. It could be, could be for a few of you, could be new love. I'm getting here that probably you're choosing to love yourself first, okay? That's what's happening here. Because you see this person is very imbalanced, okay? You see them as very probably someone who has too many balls in the air and, uh, you know, um, uh, someone, you know, who is very poor at decision making also, okay? Which is why they keep coming back and forth into your life. Um, what action, what action does this person plan on taking to, what action? Hmm. And what action uh, does this person take? What action will this person do? Okay. Yeah, so you're ending it with them is what I'm getting here, okay? This person is trying to get out of a negative cycle. They're no longer wanting to suffer in silence. Maybe this is them with the Ace of Cups trying to come towards you with a love offer. They want to start a brand new emotional cycle with you. But I think you're choosing to end it. I think you're done and dusted once and for all. I think you're letting it go. You're letting the relationship go. So they're coming out of that negative zone whilst you are like, you know what, fuck it, it's done, okay? See from the 6th to the 10th, right? You're moving on, you're al almost there. You're already there right now, okay? Eventually, I think you're taking no action because you probably don't want to be a fool again. What's the outcome out here? What's the outcome? What's the outcome out here? Give me an outcome. Give me the for an outcome. What is the outcome? What is the best person? Wow! Ten of Cups. 
Wow, this is crazy, ten of cups. So probably this is why it's all happening. This person's coming towards you with an. You know what? The Ace of Cups is also an apology. Okay, that looks like an apology to me. It could be an apology, but this is someone who's coming towards you with an emotional new beginning here, which is going to lead to the ten of cups here. Wow, this is your past person. This is no new person out here. Look, the sun just flipped out. New beginning here at the same cycle. A lot of clarity coming in. Let's see. What's the hermit? What's the hermit? What is the hermit out here? Yeah, this person wants to come back towards you, all right? They, they were, they're turning around after doing a lot of self-introspection, okay? Doing a lot of thinking. They want to come back around. That's a very codependent energy. But you're emotionally shut off, unavailable to them. You're, you're choosing self-care is what I get. You're making yourself a priority out here. This person's feeling very left out. Okay, that's a very codependent energy, by the way. Okay, they can't do without you. They need you. I think they more than need you. This person needs someone. Okay, is what I'm getting here. Six of Swords, what's that? What's the Six of Swords? They are thinking of coming back around with you. What's the Six of Swords? Yeah, because you're fed up, right? You're fed up. You're not, see, like, I, didn't I say that? You are temporarily thinking about disconnecting from this connection, physical, emotional distance. Why? Because you want that peace, harmony, okay? You just want peace because you have been fighting, okay? You have that willpower in you, okay, to fight for this connection and you've been going on for this for a very long time, okay? Your guards are up, but I feel that with the nine of wands here, you've been repeating this with this person, um... Uh, over and over and over again, okay? You've been doing this uh, for a very long time. You're pretty much wounded, exhausted, tired, beaten, whatever, that wounded warrior. But you're not giving up. You're not giving up. You're just temporarily disconnecting yourself from them. Four of Cups. Why is this here? Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so this person wants to make you an offer, okay? They're coming back. There's a lot of coming back around energy. This is your ex or a person that you just broke up with, okay? This person tried to walk away from you. They're watching you from a distance, okay? Keeping an eye on you, trying to get more information about you, okay? But they're making a turn around. The High Priestess in reverse. This is how they view you. Why is that? Why is High Priestess in reverse? Yeah. They're, they're manifesting you. This person's manifesting you, okay? I think this person sees you as very strong, very powerful, all right? And they see you as a very individualistic person, okay? And uh, I think so, you know what's happening here? I think earlier you were very emotional, very sensitive, etc. Now you're switching from being into that dual energy, from being into that supportive energy into a more individual person, okay? So they see you as someone who can do whatever they want. They see you as a very powerful person, very powerful person. They, You know what I'm getting here? They see that switch. You're switching from being emotional to being logical or probably switching from using your heart to using your head now, all right? Two of pentacles in reverse. This is how they view you. You view them. Why? Ah. Uh, because there is no growth here, no expansion out here, okay? Maybe you're dropping them is what I'm getting here. I think you were in two minds all this while trying to juggle this relationship. Not juggle exactly, but trying to weigh out the pros and cons of, you know, how it would go or is it going anywhere. This person was coming up as very um, indecisive to you, okay? Someone who just can't make up their mind. And I think there was... a. Uh, the nurturing wasn't given, okay? The caring, the nurturing, the affection wasn't given to this relationship in order for it to grow. And you saw that this relationship was going nowhere. So you see them as someone you dropped is what I'm getting. I think you dropped them. Because all this while you were in two minds. Do you want them? Do you not want them? They'll come back. Do you still want them? But I think you're making up your mind. Ace of Cups, what's that? Ace of Cups. Where's Ace of Cups here? Ace of Wands and Reverse. <sighs> wow. So someone wants an emotional beginning out here. And now I'm getting two stories out here. Okay, take what resonates. Either you are loving yourself and when this person comes towards you, you're not interested in pursuing this person or you're not wanting to take any action because you don't want to break a new beginning with this person. Or this person wants a brand new beginning with you, but they're not taking action towards you yet. Okay? They're not because they're doubting themselves is what I'm getting here. Or probably there's been too many false starts between you both. 
which is why there are chances that you know this new beginning may not lift okay what's the nine of swords in reverse this person is not happy without you they're trying to get out of their head they're trying their best to 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 stop thinking about what went wrong in the past they're trying their best to stop regretting remorse regret over what happened in the past they're feeling extremely guilty about whatever happened and how things worked how things didn't work out in the past or whatever happened in the past they're trying the best to get out of it okay but they're just not happy they're, again like i said this person out here if this is you then this is you if this isn't you this is the person you're dealing with i feel this is the person you're dealing with this person is emotionally codependent on you they can't do without you they will always need you and you will always have to be the bigger person out here so if you want to be the bigger person out here take them back they're not going to grow unless you don't teach them a lesson okay ten of swords what's the ten of swords this is the action you plan on taking ten of swords ten of swords why is this the action you plan to wow see yeah you're ending this you, you you're no longer wanting to be with this person anymore probably because this person is very wishy-washy very immature they don't know how to handle a mature connection actually they don't know how to handle a connection maturely or they don't know how to take things forward which is why again things didn't go forward in the past i think you were impatient or this person was impatient okay someone wanted to move things very fast okay like something's something was taking time to grow and one person out here was just impatient okay like in a hurry and someone was fed up of the juggling either you were being juggled or you were juggling this person out here but you're putting an end to this connection out here all right there is a breakup there is a separation here and you no longer want to be with this person i think you're thinking again i'm getting that individualistic energy which they also view you as and you're also you know that energy is of being together that balance is not coming from you anymore it's more like i'm okay on my own that's why i saw this the first time as self care 10 of cups why is this the outcome why is this 10 of cups here as the outcome 10 of cups wow i think a relationship is completely transforming there's a complete one 180 degrees transformation in this relationship everything's changing in this relationship everything's changing give me one more card for the outcome give me one more card for the outcome hmm yeah this person is changing they're coming towards you man they're coming towards you but i don't know why this person wants the stand of cups with you okay but there's this energy where you're like you know what i've changed i think this person's going to be very shocked i don't think this person expects you to change you're a different person now is what i'm getting here you know i think you were resisting a lot of changes you were resisting an ending out here you were resisting something because you just didn't want to let it go stability security means a lot to you okay and i think you found a lot of stability in this person within this person and now you're finally ending things with this person out here okay you are getting what you want but i think you're choosing to walk away from it and the moment you're walking away from it completely ending it putting an end to this that's when they're rushing it back but you are ha- getting the 10 of cups here you have that happiness this person comes towards you with giving you what you want but you're choosing not to accept it anymore maybe you don't want it anymore I think because see there are con- I get such conflicted energies out here ace of cups and ace of wands in reverse I mean like this is like you know wo- having that emotional fulfillment but someone not taking action or just not losing just losing the passion or not feeling that mojo you know not wanting not being as passionate about this new beginning out here you know but yeah this person comes in towards you you're walking away from this 10 of cups here okay you're choosing to change you're choosing to transform you transform the way you think about this person or this connection out here but the moment you do that that's when they rush in okay so that's what i have for you hope this reading resonates leave your comments below like share subscribe and i'll see you next time bye bye